Hey, this is Peter with PCT Services with another tutorial video for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to surf the internet extremely privately from your PC. Now, we're going to do this in a two-step process utilizing both the Tor network and Mozilla Firefox together. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set Mozilla Firefox to always use private browsing. Now, this is a great thing where uh, when you're surfing the internet, it doesn't store your settings, it doesn't save your history, it doesn't save cookies or your passwords or your logins. Basically, this browsing window, this session that I'm, I'm using, is exclusive to itself. W whatever I do, nothing's going to be saved when I close this browser. So if you are visiting like a shady site or you don't want people to see what you're doing, uh, this is a great thing to do because the second I close this browser, my history is gone. Nobody can see it, nobody can look it up. So to do that, we're gonna need to go to the settings page. Uh, if you have the default about home page set, you can just click the settings page right here. If you already have a home page that's uh, different than this, you're gonna hit the F10 key, you're gonna go to tools, then options. That will take you to the same place. So what we want to do is we want to disable the tracking that websites use. So we're going to tell websites I do not want to be tracked. Make sure this is clicked. In addition, Firefox's default setting will be set to remember history. We're going to set it to never remember history. That's going to force uh, private browsing all the time. So once we've done that, we're going to hit OK, and then that's it. Firefox, every single time that I close this browser, will clear all the history, all the logins, all the cookies. That's a really great thing to have. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up the Tor network on this computer. Now, if you're not familiar with Tor, uh, you, most people have probably by this point heard of uh, proxies. Uh, Tor is very similar to that, except it's on more of a distributed scale. Uh, basically, it's you connecting to uh, the internet and surfing the internet through a network of other computers that that process the information then they send it back to you uh, this is really nice because it's encrypted it uh, it kind of masks the data that's coming in and out uh, of your com your computer so you it's it's not impossible to trace mm -hmm. the stuff back to you but it's a lot more difficult uh, to track your IP this way so if you want that extra level of privacy, Tor is a really good thing to have. Uh, now the problem with Tor is that it's kind of complicated to use all the time uh, and to set up on your computer if you're really not, uh, if you're not like a computer genius or you're just not computer savvy at all, Tor is going to be a difficult thing. Um, now Tor can be utilized for a lot of very shady stuff, but you know that's up to the user whether or not they want to do that. But in general, Tor is a great thing to have on a system where you're trying to hide what you're doing. So, the tool that we're going to use is a tool called Black Belt Privacy. This is a super simple setup. It configures itself to work with Firefox and Firefox alone. So it doesn't take over your whole internet. So you can still use, say, Google Chrome to surf the internet on your own IP, but when you want to be private, you can utilize Chrome, and it works really well in conjunction with the other Firefox settings that uh, I showed you how to do already. So we're going to go ahead and set it up now. We're going to open up Black Belt Privacy. We're going to run it. And the setup's very simple here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit next and we need to choose what type of operator we want on the Tor network. Uh, if you just want to be just a client, you don't want to participate in the whole Tor movement, you're going to choose option two. If you want to kind of help out and, uh, and let other people's data utilize your network and then send it back to them, uh, you can choose one of these other options. but for now, I'm just going to choose Tor Operator because that's all I want to be doing right now. Um, I don't want to have other people's data uh, that could get me in trouble uh, being fed through my, my network. So we're going to hit Next. We're going to make sure that Tune Firefox is set. You're going to hit Next again. The setup is very, very fast. And we're done. Now, I don't want Tor always starting when I boot Windows. I want to be able to uh, start it on my own, only when I want it. 
So I'm going to uncheck this. But if you uh, if you like, you can leave all of these settings exactly as they are, and that's fine. Um, it's up to you. So we're going to hit finish. And now we have uh, this. It's going to start up Tor for us. And if you look down here, this is registering on the Tor network. Um, it's requesting to actually be part of it. Uh, when this turns green, that means that we're on tour. So it just turned green, we're on tour, we're ready to go. The first time you open Firefox, you're going to be presented with this. We're going to hit install, and now Firefox is configured with tour. We're going to restart, and now the last thing that you have to do is uh, we need to make sure that tour is on. So we're going to hit the little onion thing here, we're going to toggle tour status, and now we're actually using tour. Uh, and I'm just going to click one of my bookmarks here. Now, the thing you got to keep in mind is, depending on the relay that you actually get connected to, Tor is kind of slow. Um, that's kind of the price you pay for utilizing a, uh, a like a proxy server. You just have to deal with the speed. Um, that's an unfortunate byproduct, but it goes with the territory. So, this Tor is actually really not that bad it's kinda of fast uh, what you what you're probably gonna find is that you're not gonna have a lot of luck like watching videos online and using graphics intensive uh, websites with Tor but uh, if you're trying to surf the internet if you're trying to do your bank statements or uh, you're checking your email and stuff this could actually be a good way uh, to really privatize what you're doing so as long as we see this uh, green onion here, Firefox is using the Tor network and everything that you do is going to be hidden or at least it's going to be masked. And then, like I said, this is going to be green when you're on the Tor network also. So really, that's the only thing you need to do. Every time that you start up Firefox, as long as this is up and running, you are now using Tor with Firefox. Um, now, like I said, at the same time that we're doing this, I could be using Google Chrome, uh, and definitely not Internet Explorer, uh, to surf the Internet. And that's going to be utilizing my IP address, and then Firefox is going to be utilizing a Tor IP address. So you can do a lot of cool things with this uh, that are a little bit tricky, but it's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to protect yourself uh, on the Internet. So if my videos helped you in any way, please like and comment at the bottom. Once again, my name is Peter at PCT Services, and I thank you for watching.